Hello and welcome to the AHRI video update. I'm Nicole Snyder, the Communications Coordinator at AHRI, and with me today is Guido Zucconi, our Assistant Vice President of Congressional Affairs. Today we're going to be talking about the upcoming 2016 Public Policy Symposium, which will be held at the Willard Intercontinental here in Washington, D.C. Uh, from March 15th through the 16th. So Guido, can you start us off and tell us what is the general purpose of the Public Policy Symposium? Sure, so you know, as you know, HRI has over 300 members. And frankly, uh, a lot of them are small to medium-sized companies and they're very busy running their actual companies, running their businesses and growing their companies and their businesses. And they don't have a lot of time to come uh, consistently to Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. So the concept of the symposium is that they have a chance to come here for two days, come here to Washington, D.C. They get to learn a little bit more in depth from local experts, even national experts, on the policies, on the issues of the day here in Washington that affect our businesses and our industry. Uh, and then the second day, uh, they get to spend time with their actual representatives. And for some of them, it's the first time they get to meet their congressman or their senator or their staff. They get to be on the Hill. They get to kind of get a sense of what it is that we do up here. And so they can kind of uh, put a, a visual together with, a, with an actual concrete message that they can deliver. Um, to the Hill. The added benefit is, of being up here is not only do they learn, but they get to teach. They get to teach the senators and the congressmen and their staff about what the issues that concern them are. These are the issues, these are the regulations, these are the policies that we need fixed, that we are uh, striving under, or that we're struggling under. And, they, and that's, that's a, a message that a lot of folks on the Hill don't always get on that micro level, on that sort of down home, how are the companies in my district and in my state truly affected by what we're doing here in Washington. So it's a way to give our members a voice. It's a way to give our members absolutely a voice. And uh, luckily every year we grow. We started with just a, a maybe a two dozen members five, six years ago. And now we're uh, to almost over 60 members come, 60 companies are represented. And hopefully we keep growing it every year. So you kind of touched on this already, but can you maybe uh, walk us through a little bit what will the schedule look mm -hmm. like of, the, of those two days? Uh, sort of what activities will our members be involved in? Sure, so the way uh, I described it as the first day is sort of the, the learning day. We're gonna have a, a presentation by our keynote speaker, Ed Gillespie. Mm -hmm. He's the former head of the Republican National Committee. He's running for governor in the state of Virginia, obviously as a Republican, so he'll have great insight both from the policy making and also from the politician side of, side of things. And following the luncheon, we're going to have a number of panels. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have panels on uh, the regulatory side of things, on what a uh, what the various candidates for president, what a potential administration would look like, what a Trump or Cruz uh, or even Clinton, maybe even Sanders administration would look <laughs> like. Uh, we'll have those from the local think tanks, uh, folks that study the issues closer. We'll have two small breakout groups that we're excited about. One will be with congressional staff, former mm -hmm. and current, and they can talk to us a little bit about what to expect in a congressional meeting, what are good practices for a congressional meeting, both in the meeting and follow up uh, afterwards, uh, and also some funny stories probably of, of disastrous meetings that kind of as a lesson learned. And then this year for the first time we're going to have it on the regulatory side too. Mm -hmm. Former uh, regulators, uh, regulators are going to come uh, and discuss good meetings they've had with industry, bad meetings, what they look for in a meeting, again some of that best practices that hopefully will, will help shape uh, and, and teach members uh, how, to, how to craft the right message and how to right, make the right delivery. The second day is the teaching day, is what mm -hmm. we were just talking about, is that that's when uh, we'll have a, a breakfast meeting, we'll have uh, Scott Siegel from Bracewell come and, and entertain us with stories about just generally uh, the political scene in Washington and what to expect this year, uh, as sort of as we approach a lame duck Congress and a lame duck presidency later in the year. Uh, and then we're going to head up to the Hill, and we'll set up the meetings for you beforehand. You'll work with our staff beforehand, of course, and, uh, and we'll we'll get you, and we'll escort you around Capitol Hill, and you'll meet with a congressman, meet with your senator, and might meet with some varied uh, varied senators and congressmen, maybe from your neighboring states or neighboring mm -hmm. congressional districts as well. And that's when you get to deliver your message. That's when you get to have your voice heard. Um, and uh, and then you're free to go uh, free to go home after that. Um, so it sounds like there are so many benefits to be gained from the symposium. Do you have sort of any examples from previous years about how mm -hmm. their experiences at the symposium have translated into benefits along the way? Yeah, it's funny you ask that. Uh, actually, we had a great success story. One of our members had never come to the symposium before. Uh, and two years ago, he came up, he did the visit, he met with his home congressman, uh, met with the senator, 
And about a year, if not a little less, he was invited back to testify in front of Congress. He got to testify in front of the, one of the committees of jurisdiction on the effects of regulations on his small business. Um, and that was a, it was, he got media from it, he got local interviews, he got national interviews, obviously press releases with his name on it. It was a great success story on how just a one-time meeting, he came, prepared, the congressman realized there's a story that would be told from a, uh, from a local constituent company. And he helped that company sort of have his voice heard on a national level. And I think that's, that's exactly, that's the greatest story uh, that we can, we can relate on the symposium and why it's so useful to have your voice heard up on Capitol Hill. Well, thanks so much for meeting with us today, Guido. It was great. And I hope to see everybody at the symposium this year and keep the numbers growing. And you can follow all of our uh, symposium updates on social media, on Facebook and on Twitter with the hashtag AHRI Symposium. And please stay tuned for the next AHRI video update.